Hey guys, it's Life with Chris back again with another amazing video. So today we're doing a little revisit. I've not done this place since I started YouTube about two years ago. Such a long time and I think this one was my third video ever on my YouTube channel. So I thought, you know what, it's about time we come back and with Life with Craig over in the bottom corner, make sure you go over and subscribe to him. And I'm also with Dean. He's not got YouTube yet, but I'm still trying to persuade him to start it. With time, guys, there will be a video. I've got my phone charged, go. we're all good to go. So like Craig just said, he will be doing a video today. So as you can see in the background, we are at the old famous Pagefield College in Wigan. Uh, Pagefield College, Pagefield Mill, whatever you guys want to call it. But like I say, we did this two years ago, my third ever video on YouTube. And what I'll do, I'll put a little bit at the beginning right here. Hey guys, it's Pi here, Paranormal Investigation Explorers. I'm here with Keegan and Degsy. Uh, we're at this location today. Uh, it's an old college and mill, as you can see. So as you've seen in that little clip, back then I was a bit nervous on the camera. I didn't realize and I didn't understand YouTube properly. And to be honest, I didn't know what I was doing. But no, I'm a bit more comfortable with a camera. I'm getting used to it a bit more. I'm still getting used to it two years on, but I'm coming out my shell a bit. I'm talking to you guys a bit more. Like I said, it's not my channel, it's our channel. So I just want to say a massive thank you to all 10,000 of you guys that are subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. Less of me talking, let's spin you around and let's get into this explore slash we might even do a paranormal in here i'll see you in a minute right so as you can see guys the old famous college so let's uh head inside we'll go through the main entrance so what we'll do we'll head inside and like i said we'll do a revisit So I can see this place is absolutely wrecked. The amount of times it's been set on fire and vandalized since I first come to this building is absolutely unreal. So like I said, we'll head inside and we'll see how bad it's got since the first time we come here. I still can't believe it was like two years ago. But look how bad it is. This weren't all like this when I first come. You can see everything is just smashed to pieces. It's like I said, most of these floors are like this, just opened up with big metal beams. So what we'll do, we'll go upstairs, we'll start on the top, start upstairs near the roof and that, get some nice views and then we'll work our way down. And then we'll go out the back and go to the basement because these two have never been to this location. So let's start heading upstairs and then we'll work our way downwards and end up in the basement. Unfortunately, like I said to Craig, unfortunately, the World War II bunkers are all concreted up now so we can't actually get into them. But after this, I will be heading over to them to show Craig and Dean them because they've never been there. I just want to show them how much effort they've gone to stop people from getting into them. But as you can see, this is the second floor. Literally, it's all the same. I remember the first ever time coming here, um, there was a really nasty man. I think it was either this floor or the top floor, and he was living in here, and he was trying to catch young people. Luckily enough, he got arrested and got sent down. You all right? <coughs> you all right, lad? All right. Just be careful where you're walking and that, bro. A little thing as well guys, we did try 
to get to an old children's home today that's meant to be really really haunted but unfortunately when we got there they started knocking it down and it's packed with security because of all the diggers and stuff like that so unfortunately we couldn't get in there hopefully we'll be able to get in there the next couple of days because i have put my name forward and hopefully security will get in contact with us and let us do a little walk around so if he does that that'll be even better we can go and do an investigation though all right man Right, sorry about that guys, I was just speaking to somebody who was in the building, he's uh, trying to get up on the top so we can get some pictures of the place and like I say I've never been up there so hopefully I can actually find a way up and get a really good sunset while on the video with you guys, look at him, he's scared already, just look over Craig. <laughs> Definitely want to try and get on the roof though for a sunset video. So why, why is not been into the for a simple reason, probably greater than Look at this. This is gone. This has gone bad since I've been. It's literally just a shell. But all this, last time I come it weren't all collapsed. Yeah, last time I come here, guys, it weren't like this. Look at it. And this is why people tell people not to come here, especially like the council and stuff, because look at that. And you get a lot of kids coming messing about in here, trying to climb onto the rooftops and stuff, and trying to climb up that thing over there. Uh, I know there's been quite a lot of tragedies in this building, and this is why we say we do this so you don't have to sometimes it might be because of a disability sometimes it might be money issues or it might just be the simple fact you can't get to places like this due to transport or anything but i'd rather us do it because we come as a team we'll never come on our own because at the end of the day if something happens there's people around literally things can change like that i could just be walking now and we could fall and this is why you have to be careful because as you can see all this has collapsed in and it is a really scary place because i remember going up there doing an investigation i think it was my third or fourth video when i did an investigation in this place because we did see a rope hanging that had been cut and there was rumors that somebody actually hung themselves in here and that's why we was doing an investigation so we'll see if we can actually get through to that we might be able to get under yeah we can get through that guys as you can see look at that as you can see look at the roof the roof absolutely knackered right guys sorry about that we're just all having a drink so what we'll do we found a little way through so let's go instead of walking all the way down and outside we'll go underneath it all just watch your head guys right guys so this is where we caught something in that room when i was doing an evp we caught something in that room and upstairs because i'm going to show craig something in a minute and i don't know if it's still going to be here but when i was here craig there was uh, a noose hanging down here yeah it's still there a little bit there's part of it that was hanging down and it was cut about here and it looked like somebody hung themselves and there was rumours that somebody did. And what I'll do everyone, I'll try and get from my footage from when I've come here doing an investigation, the bit where we heard something in that room, I'll put it right here. So that there is what we heard when we come doing an investigation here. I'm going to send that footage over to Craig so he can do it as well. Like I say, it was when I first started investigations, so it could have been nothing, but I really don't know. But as you can see how bad it's got, 
a nice sunset over there. But look at that. Absolutely unreal. Wow. Look at that. That is what a lot of people try to get up. <coughs> a lot of people try to get up that and uh, a lot of people fall, that's why they bricked it up. But as you can see, if somebody did go over that. I'll be honest, still to this day, one minute, still to this day, my camera's blurry around the rope. Okay, if there's anybody around here with us, you make yourself known, talk to us, make a noise. Concrete this lad. That's not very safe though. Did you just bang your head? <laughs> Look at that guys. That is nice, isn't it? Gorgeous, isn't it? It's just a shame on the building. Wow. So we'll head back down. Like I said guys, we are going to head down to the basement area. I want to see if something's still here actually. There's a little story as well here. A guy used to rob people and he used to hide in here. And I'll show Craig and I'll show you guys if all the stuff's still here. Right, <laughs> he banged his head on the metal. Right at the bottom, there was phones, bags, everything. There was even, um, what's it called? Diabetes jabs down here. Yeah. So let's see if it's all still here. Dean with the life saving torch. But there as well, we got some bangs down here and it made, I'll be honest, because it was the first time doing investigations, it made us run. To this day, I still don't know if it was a pigeon or if it was actually something. Yeah, I will be. Uh, probably not now, nah, but I will do. Yeah. Right, so guys, so this is the area where the guy... Not. Not to go up there. Let's go up. Do you want us to go up there? We're going up there anyway. Somebody's definitely not up there because okay, of them yeah, steps. Whatever it was, come through then, like I said, not to go up there. So it might be warning us. Is that what it was? Oh, no. 
Sorry for the swearing there, guys. My bad. I can't go up there. We keep touching up down and not to go up there. Yeah, we can go up there. Yeah, we're going to go up there. Sharm that there. As you can see, guys, look, you see the steps missing here. No, back outside so we can go to the basement. Something in here. Something in here. What's it saying? What's saying? It's close. Sorry, guys. I was just getting through that all. I do want to see if anybody has opened the way up into that recently because I, like I said, I've not been here for a while. Somebody that's actually been trying, I'll give, I'll give them respect for that. They've been trying to get into it. Oh, I think they have. No way. Somebody's actually got in, I think. It's the tower. It's all blocked with stones and that. Somebody's tried to get in. What I'll do, guys, we'll just head around the back towards the basement and that I'll pick the phone up lot. back again in a minute. That would weird. That right, guys, so we are in the back building now. And as you can see, a lot of this has collapsed. And it's just piling up. There's loads and loads of rubble. So we just have to be a little bit careful. But we are going around here to find the basement area so we can go down and go underneath because there's meant to be some uh, weird things in the basement and I'll be honest I've never been down to the basement properly in this place I've only been once and I weren't on video at the time it was when I was younger so what I'll do so what we'll do guys we'll try and find this basement and hopefully we can get down there I'm sure it's around an edge somewhere. <laughs> hey. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to bleep that out now. So that beep that you heard, guys, is Craig swearing again. Yeah. I forget this monetized now, guys. I can't, I can't forget, you know what I mean? I'll just swear for a pound the edge. Yeah, I did. I kind of swear. I bloody hell. Or did I ever not say something like that? I'm going fine. It's just if any young'uns are watching, I don't want them copying swear words that those guys Wait, are saying. No disrespect to anybody, like, but I know, like, but they're probably not having no balls. I know. There's probably, like, <laughs> kids half our age, maybe more than that. There's probably seven-year-olds that know yeah. more swear words yeah. than us. Exactly. Yeah. It's always the case nowadays. It's changed so much. <laughs> You've never seen a leaf like that before. Like, it's, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm not on about them. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, like, this place is just getting ransacked by everything and anything. No, the only way to get rid of this is if you knock it down and uh, well, demolish it. <laughs> Let's have a look through all these just in case the uh, basement's in one of these. No basement in this one though. No. Oh, Craig's blinding us. <laughs> it did do, it's gone off again. Right guys, what I'll do, 
while we're just trying to find this basement, just so you're not hearing us walking over rubble and stuff, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Right guys, so unfortunately, we can't actually show you the basement because it's all been blocked up, so we can't actually get into it. A bit gutted, but at least we've still done a revisit. That is the main thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to end this one here because I'm gonna go and show these to the bunker. If it's been unbought blocked, I will pick the video back up. If not, this will be the end here. Thank you so much. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and let's get this 20,000 subscribers. I'll see you next time. It's goodbye from life with Chris. Goodbye.